YouTube, what's going on? What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, my Smell Good family. How are you guys? Hopefully, all is well with yourselves and everyone else around you. And I know why you guys have returned. Yes, you have returned to hear me talk about that smell good, all right? And that smell good is what we'll be talking about, all right? So today's video is exciting. It is an exciting video. Um, I just purchased this, matter of fact, just a few hours ago, all right? So we're back at the crib and jumping in front of the camera to give a true first uh, impression. Now, I smell this faintly on a tester strip at my local dealers and that's all I needed. <laughs> that's all I needed so much so I was looking for the tester strip that they sprayed this juice on. I couldn't find it so I haven't had a chance to kind of sit with it and really see how it dries down and uh, develops. But uh, to say the least, it didn't matter, all right? This has been on my radar just like it's been on you guys' radar as well. So let's go ahead and get into the fragrance. Today we're gonna to be giving our first impressions and thoughts on the new one from Aqu from Giorgio Armani, the Aqua Dijo line. We have Aqua Dijo, the head of Parfum. All right, so we got the box here, the presentation, just a traditional box. All right, white box, Aqua Dijo, head of Parfum. And then here's the beautiful bottle. Really love the bottles, look classy, real elegant. So here is the bottle. Hope you can see that well on camera. So just a see-through glass bottle. Uh, Aqua Dijo, Giorgio Armani, and then Edda Parfum at the bottom. You got this wooden brownish cap on the top of it, just kind of snaps into place. Typical good quality from your Giorgio Armani Aqua Dijo bottles, okay? So we're gonna talk about, you know, how the juice smells. Um, obviously I can't talk about longevity and stuff just yet because I haven't worn it out. But we're gonna talk about how it smells, what I you know, think in, uh, in comparisons to uh, the other staples from the line, and uh, we'll go from there, all right? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, um, man, I can't, I can't tell you when the release of the first original, and oddly enough, I have the last bottle. It has a couple sprays in it left at the bottom, but I have my original bottle of Aqua Dijo, all right, the EDT, the, uh, what do you call it? The um, all-time best-seller, mass-appealing king. All right, uh, for the um, for Giorgio Armani's is the Aqua Dijo fragrance. Man, this stuff is stellar. Um, I got like a couple of sprays left. Um, I'm gonna just get me another bottle just for uh, sentimental purposes. But just like you, I'm sure this is just a staple in a lot of you guys. Is collections and lifetime so to speak uh when it comes to fragrances okay so 20 25 years or something like that after the release of this they dug down deep and they gave us an edp so right off seeing that news towards the end of 2021 my antennas were up and i am i was super 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 excited to learn of the new release uh from the uh aqua d show line now I love the Aqua Dijon line. As a matter of fact, it's one of my favorite scent DNAs, a DNA scent that I am overly obsessed with, all right? So I have quite a few from the line. I have the Profondo, the Profumo, the Absolute, uh, the Profondo Lights. I, I have a good bit of them, and they're all great in their own way. Um, I, obviously, I still have a little bit left of the original, and I'm super glad and ecstatic to have the EDP. So let's go ahead and get this on a tester strip and kind of see what we're dealing with here. Grab me a strip. So here we go. Oh, great atomizer. The first spray just went out there in the air somewhere. All right, so. Okay. So of course, right off the back, you get the DNA of the Aqua Dijo, but you do get this citrusy, lemony, orangey type of vibe. Yeah, up top, still get that aquaticness, mineral feel. There's a slight soapiness to this thing. And, and I, I haven't looked up notes yet, but we're about to look them, look them up. I've looked at them before, but I believe there's some lavender in this thing. This smells really good. This smells really, really, really good. It's different. It's different. 
It's slightly different, but it is different if you know your Aqua Dijos for sure. So right at the top, what I get, I get that aquatic, mineral, oceanic type vibe, saltiness. But you do get this lemon orangey type of vibe. I'm going to lean towards more of the orangey citrusy vibe. It's not a tart citrus, so I doubt it's bergamot, so it has to be orange. So yeah, so you yeah, you get this orangey, it's gotta be orange. It's this orangey type of vibe, slight soapiness. Yeah, slight soapiness in it. Um that's why I'm thinking it's some, some lavender in here. Yeah, some lavender has to be in here. Wow, so right off the top, just initial thoughts, initial smells. Like I said, yes, you know, when I bought it, 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 it I smelled it right away off the strip like a yeah, I want that. Because I already knew I wanted it. Like, I knew it smelled good, so I wanted it. But I lost the strip, so I didn't have a time to spend with it. So I just sprayed the first initial sprays out of this bottle. All right. All right, smells great. <laughs> it smells great. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what's in here. Because I'm curious to know. So some of the main accords from uh, this EDP version of the uh, Aqua Dijo. Uh, like I stated, it's an aromatic, marine-like, mineral, citrus, fresh, spicy, woody, and lavender, salty, uh, accord fragrance. Uh, up top, okay, C notes and green, mandarin, orange, got it. Yeah, the orange is coming through even better now as it starts to dry down. So C notes and mandarin, orange, green, mandarin, orange, up top. In the mid, clary, sage, lavender, geranium, and then down in the base, you get mineral notes, vetiver, and patchouli, okay. Now with that veteran patchouli, I'll be interested as this continues to dry down, I wonder what we get hints of uh, Profumo, uh, because Profumo has that dark, incense patchouli type of vibe, which is amazing in that fragrance. I wonder will we get some of that towards uh, the drier, the dry down of this thing. But all in all, off the tester strip, this is good. It comes off similar to Profondo to start to start and that green and that that C note vibe but it's a little smoother in this one it's a little bit smoother in the EDP compared to Profondo's opening that's what I'm getting okay yeah that stuff smells really good okay so right off the top you do get like I just stated you get the C notes you get that citrus from the orange you get like a slight soapiness with the lavender it's still drying down. The patchouli starting to creep in. Vetiver slightly there. And then you get the mineral notes in this thing. Haven't smelled it on skin yet. I'm going to wait till I'm able to get a full wearing, hopefully, of this this week. Hopefully, the weather be right, which I'm sure it will be where I'll get to um, wear this out in the field this week. Um, so, first impressions off the scent DNA, off the smell. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Fantastic. Terrific. Whatever you want to use. It's right there along the lines of the original, of Profondo, of Profumo, Absolute, Profondo Lights. The initial opening of this thing is very, very, very good. Okay, so even at the atomizer, man, you get that orangey, citrusy type of vibe with that oceanic type of feel for sure. Okay, so where am I gonna be wearing this? Um, well, summertime, springtime, I mean, you can do a lot i mean you can do a lot with this thing you can you know wear it while you're running errands you can wear it if you're going out to lunch you can wear it on a date you can do a lot of things in the summertime depends on where you live where i live in florida once it's hot it's always hot all right um in the evenings in the early mornings it's not too bad where you can still pull this off but me i'll probably be wearing this hanging out um probably wear it to work uh profile Fumo is what I usually go for when I go to work, but I can see me wearing this to work as well. But you know, in the summer, you tend to have more fun. You can go to Top Golf, you can go hang out, you can go to day parties or whatever, and this will work good, especially when that heat gets a hold of it. I'll be very, very interested to see uh, what it does once the heat heats this up. But first impressions right out the shoot, this is good. They did it again. Um, you smell the, the differences between this and the original. And like I said, the openings are similar. To, the opening of this is similar to Profondo. And I'd be really, really interested on the dry down if the, the patchouli and the veterer makes you think of Pro Fumo. We'll see. I have to see how it goes, okay? But all in all, out of the gate, 
Really like this, can't wait to put it to use, can't wait to wear it and see how it performs for sure, okay? So one more time from the house of Giorgio Armani, we have Aqua Dijo, the EDP, very excited and happy to have this. When I fragrance, Rye Fragrance Official first announced this, I was through the roof and ecstatic because, you know, I just love the Aqua Dijo uh, DNA and I knew once I, uh, once I lay my eyes on it that I was going to grab it right away and actually I um, When I went to Dillard's I didn't know it was there. I was there to smell the new Valentino All right, the, I can't remember the name of it the new one for the summer and when I walked in Miss Heather She wasn't there that day and the other young lady uh, can't remember. I got to get her name She's always so kind and so nice when I'm in there, but she let me know Hey, the new Aqua DJ was out and I said let me get it <laughs> just like that let me get it. My wife got the uh, new Valentino for women. I think it's coral or something and got this as well. So great fragrance day for me and the wife. Excited for this one. Excited to wear it and get back to you guys and give a full review on it. All right. So one more time from the house of Giorgio Armani. We have Aqua Dijo, the Edda Parfum, the EDP. I got the big boy bottle. Very bougie with my bottles. 4.2 ounce, 125 ml bottle. Through my lifetime, I'm sure I will not get through probably the collection that I have. I probably won't get through half of all of these bottles. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. So let me know what you think. Do you have the new Aqua Dijo? Do you have it in your collection already? Have you worn it? Have you tried it? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you have any more questions for me? Anything I can elaborate on or expound on, let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to answer your questions. And um, yeah. Let's talk about the new, uh, are you still into the Aqua DJ line? Let's talk about it down below, all right? So, to end, the link will be down in the description, okay, where you can buy this app. All right, guys, until next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys on the next fragrance video.